I'm opening the project now. I can see my entire project schedule here. And you see this is based on a few phases. There are some milestones in here. I can also make the project summary task visible up here. So I see my entire project schedule. And I also see that some generic resources have been assigned to this project based on the template. So let's look into some of the resources we are having. In my simple example here, I say, OK, I do have an initial planning based on generic resources. And now I want to replace them by individuals. So I'm just looking into the analysts. Some 78 days are required in this project. I'm matching against the resources that can take over the specific functionality. And I maybe find Thomas down here. And now I'm going to replace the initial generic request by a named request. So this transfers all the initial planning that we can still see in here in the background for the analyst to Thomas. Let's do it real quick. So based on this replacement, now the resource on a named base has been assigned to these individual tasks. Do I have the approval of my team manager already? Mm, no, I just started the planning and I'm really asking for Thomas to work in this specific project. So what we do right now, we switch to the new resource plan view. And this shows me now that Thomas is requested for several days um, across several months in this project. And now I can start working on my engagements. As we have seen on the slides before, the engagements are in a new ribbon up here. And I'm now going to add a new engagement for Thomas. So let's look into some of the information I'm having here. I say to my team leader, who is responsible for Thomas' commitment, need him as an analyst. I want to have him for the entire time here where I asked for the resource. So I say, OK, from August 1st until the end of January of next year. I want to make sure that I cover the entire time frame. I could also only ask for the next two or three months. Yeah, that's definitely my decision. I don't want to have a 100% allocation, of course, but I want to assign him or request him by the work that has been planned in my schedule anyway. So how do I proceed? I'm just saying I create this new request. And I can now just take the information, the plan information from here and copy and paste it into my request. So this means I take the planning information from my schedule with a clear indication that this might not work from the very beginning. But let's just play through it and say, OK, maybe 27 days is too much. Let's say I'm asking him or requesting him for 20 days. I just start with the 25 days and wait for the response from the team leader. Maybe he can even propose someone else for this project. So this is my new engagement request. I'm going to submit this engagement now to Project Online, which means creating a new information for the team lead who is responsible for Thomas and multiple other resources that are part of the project server setup that I have. So let's switch the role for a minute. This has been done by the project manager. And now I'm switching back to the resource manager. The resource manager goes into the view of resources. Maybe he pre-selected a few of them already. And now he has different choices to look into the plan data, commitment data, and request data for these resources. First of all, he could look at the entire resource allocation of these resources. Or maybe start by looking into the resource request. Let's start by looking into the entire resource allocation. So I can switch to capacity planning in here. I see the team members that are part of my organization and how they have been requested and planned across all the different projects that are in the system. Again, this is a resource centric view showing me the entire allocation. And clearly, I can see there is some conflict in August this year by 37 days asking for Thomas. So this is the big picture on resource allocation. Let's look at the resource requests. And again, resource requests are based on the submission of requests by the project managers. And as you can see in here, there is a new request that just has been added to the system. 
Thomas has been requested for this webinar in English and we can see the request data right here on the right hand side so the initial request was some 14 days here 10 days here and so on exactly the data that I submitted as a project manager but the team leader now says okay 20 days I'm not sure if this is possible I think in uh, November we have a few let's say bank holidays I'm only let's say committing him with 15 days and on the let's say uh, planning in December doesn't make any sense to me there is let's say Christmas time and so on I can maybe even only commit him with 10 days to this project so it's my choice what level of commitment I enter into the system I'm getting close to 70% of the initial request which is quite nice but it's not a hundred percent so I cannot fulfill all the demand and request from the project manager which is pretty close to reality I would say so what I finally say I'm accepting this request and bring this information back into the project schedule this happens only in a second for now I say uh, maybe an information to my project manager doesn't work in December due to vacation time but finally, as a team manager, I'm now mostly done with my initial commitments against this request. If I want to see how good am I in overview of total commitment against total demand, I can switch back to capacity planning. And now here in this capacity planning functionality, we see a new view capacity and engagement heat map. And this gives me an information about my personal commitment of my team members to different projects. And I see, ooch, I should have better analyzed my data before. I committed Thomas in August even for 29 days by having commitments to these two projects in parallel. So I probably need to go back to my uh, commitment screen and tell either one of the project managers that only one of them can have and maybe I decrease both of them best would be to discuss and talk to these people and find what could be a good solution based on schedule critical paths and so on and get rid of this over commitment which finally also leads to an over allocation of the resource let's bring the process just to the end and from the team leader's point of view I have this information with a clear conflict no doubt about it but I, that's the information I entered into the system now let's switch back to the project manager project manager uses the Microsoft project client as I said before and now they can refresh the information and get the latest feedback from the team manager team manager now tells me okay my commitment for the first two months is perfectly okay but it's only 15 days in november and even only 10 days in december so i'm really kind of i would say drastically under committed on this um, task what I, can i do i can maybe stretch it i can maybe find other resources and now i'm in a clear resource conflict uh, situation where the initial commitment from the team leader does not match my request of course I get some of the information uh, from the team leaders so I can definitely go in here and say okay I see some of the information from the team leader who said this doesn't work in December due to the vacation so it's a clear documentation on what they did so they can reply and then change the commitment again and the request again and hopefully at one point in time find an agreement on the needed resource and the committed resource so this is part of the information that is uh, going into these resource engagements again the total picture here is there is a comparison of commitment against request which gives me a clear information that we are over committed maybe at this point in time if i look into my real resource usage or resource allocation it could be even worse yeah because the people here might have even more project requests that are pending but the resource manager doesn't even know about it because the demand the request has not been submitted by the project manager 